Hey folks, we're back, and we are to Jello Alert level zero. I bet you're so surprised by that. No, you're not. You're not. I'm really liking the game, so we're making it one big, one big day of gaming, I guess. We're to Ghost Alert level zero as well. I keep him well fed. I keep him away. So do we? I think we already got it. We're done, aren't we? Yeah, we're heading back out, back to the hub, back to the hub to engineering, engineering. Let's get going. But no, I like the game. I think this is pretty cool. I think it's worth the price. I enjoy stories. All right, we're up top. Time to float, boys and girls. The thing is, is I don't know what happened to the... Oh, there's observation. Did I... There's the ball. Let's pick up the ball and let's make a basket before we do anything. Because I would like to do that. I think... We're going to score one for the blue team. I like blue. All right. What are we looking at here? Blue. Blue. Didn't it just say I could dunk? I'm pretty sure it was saying that. Nice. That's good enough, though. So now, it's going to make me go to engineering. I'm not going to be allowed in the cryo yet. So let's go to engineering. Woo! Here we go. Oh, look at that. Ventura's Belt Orbital Vacation Bungalows, where you can do your zen in zero gravity. Yeah. I never, I'm never going to have that kind of money if it was in our world, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's for all the rich people. Now entering engineering module. Allies? See, I get worried with with the little like area labels they give everything. All right, let's go into engineering. First, we'll of course put it in the in the rack. All right, let's get up here, put it in the rack. Almost there. Be careful with that Odin brain. It has more mental processing power than Luxembourg. Seriously, though, don't drop it. This is H again, okay? Bye. Um, I think... Do you want me to go here first? No, obviously, that is not the direction to go. So we'll go... We'll go here. Operation Moonshot status board. Ooh, 18 hours ago? Uh, I'll catch up with you. Okay. Earlier, when you decided to withhold information from Natalie about her medical scans, that was to avoid co- All right, let's look at it. Ventura's Physician Oversight Counselor Garden. I write to inform you mindset in case the crew does not survive the incident board's coma. I am fully aware that crew member Karish Kingo's medical scans indicate her chances of survival once subjected to cryogenic stasis are minimal. However... More humane for Miss Karashinko to expire peacefully in cryosleep than to asphyxiate in the dead station. Know that it this was my own decision, made of sound mind, and I take all responsibility for better or worse. Sincerely, Sarah Hasmati, MD. Oh, Han. All right, let's read the rest of them. Nothing looks like it's failed either. 18 hours ago, it says approximately 20 hours. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. From Andrew... Dagab, thank you. Hi, Sarah. You said to take my time and let me let you know when I'm ready to go into cryo, but I'm ready now. If I'm doing this thing, it doesn't make sense to waste any more oxygen dragging my feet. I sent out a message to everybody who's left awake, but I just wanted to thank you for your patience and guidance and your discretion when I wasn't sure about things. I know lots of people in your shoes would have said, j just said, fuck this guy, I don't have time for this, and sick the station admin on me. But I really appreciate your caring, even if I know that, really, I was just... Even if I know that, really, I was just trying to fight the inevitable. But I guess maybe that's what we're all doing. I guess we'll see. Thanks for being my friend. I'm headed to cryo now. See you there. To sleep, perchance to dream. There's the rub. For that sleep death, what dreams may come. Okay, I really butchered that. Message with Natalia Kurashenko. 
Sarah Burt is making fun of me because my parents were hippies and never got my gene filtered before I was born. I'm sorry, Nat. Lots of parents don't get their children gene filtered. Sometimes for religious reasons, sometimes because they're hippies. How's work going on the drone? Sorry, Doc. Really focused on this Burt making fun of me thing right now. When's the last time you slept? That's beside the point. I love it. Love it. See, I do that every time. Every time. Undue stress. Right. What if you were unable to make that choice? If you had no choice? Odin? I would like to take this opportunity to remind you that Standard Venturus Corporation safety protocol requires all crew to enter cryogenic sleep immediately upon the loss of primary oxygen supply. What? I... As Tacoma Station's medical officer, it is within your power to order all crew to enter cryogenic sleep. Odin, Nat and Bert are right in the middle of... Oh no. Sarah, there is a fire suppression device. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh no. Are you okay? Can you feel your feet and hands? Ew! Ow. My hip just hurts. What? Oh but. shit. Bart! Bart! One, two, three. Bart, can you hear me? One, two, three. Did it work? What will you do now? Wait a minute. Or in that are injured. Drones. Wait a minute, hold on. There's no way this thing is going to fly. Then tell me what you are going to do. Oh my god, Odin. Or in that are injured. The drone is fucked. I'm going to give them a little time to get over the shock, but then we're going into cryo. Sarah, please listen carefully. I am not telling you what to do. But I am mentioning that there is a door in the network technology module that is normally inaccessible to the crew. And it is true that you could, before proceeding to cryo, investigate that door. What are you telling me here, Odin? I have told you all that I can. Simple facts. Nothing more. Oh my god, Odin. I love Odin. Condition stable? Yes. Their conditions won't degrade if I leave them here? They should not. Is there some door in networking that we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, uh, I I'm sorry. Look, that fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, uh, here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. Oh, we don't know. You don't. All right, let's pause it for a second because I want to go back to where. Oh, whoa. Wait. Oh, we're missing like 20 minutes. That's what it is. I was so confused. Okay, I thought it was a 20 minute straight video, and I was like, I just didn't see them doing that. But. All right, the three of them are here. Bart! One, two, three. Bert, can you hear me? One, two, three. All right, hold on. Uh, warning, McCallum, malfunction, electrical failure, drone misaligned with service left warning. What will you do now? Oh, see, that is so weird that... Oh, it's the 20 minutes of her being down. That makes sense. But what I need to find is there's... A question mark which means something else is going on at this exact minute zero eight zero nine oh that's awesome um, um okay before we go down let's finish there's like a minute of this recording I'm making you guys go back and forth 
So we'll just we'll just watch for rest fix. Where is that supposed to be? There's no other place, is there? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's no other question mark. No, don't go in there yet. Nat and Bert's place. If the bunks are rocking, don't come a knocking. If it's not rocking, please knock loudly if the curtain's closed. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anywhere else at this moment to go to, so I'm not going to worry about that. That question mark bugs me because I'm wondering where that's supposed to be at. Unless it's up here. Hold on. Let me see if it's up here. Ventris automated delivery drone. Hmm. Nope, that's still the same thing. So... Okay, continue. Okay, watch it as it pulls down. There we go. That we can't normally get into? Uh, yeah, it's Odin's hardware compartment, but we're not allowed direct access. Why? Where is it? Uh, what have you got on your mind, Doc? Please, I I'm sorry. That fire just burned up a lot of our time. Uh, 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 here. It's, um, it's, it's here. In networking. You'll have to go through the maintenance shaft to get there. Here. Here's the technical access code. Okay. You don't let her go to sleep. And you don't let her move. Sarah, what's going on? I wish I knew. I'm gonna go find out. Okay, that's where that went, as far as it went. Let's go downstairs now. We're gonna go down and investigate this bad boy. Thank you, Odin, for being such a cool AI. Damn, it goes far down now. Uh, seven months ago? Okay. Let's recover the data. Alright, the music's gonna kill me, isn't it? Oh wait, this is... This is one of those things where I have to just kind of look to see what she's missing. Ooh, cigarette pack time. Krauth. And I'm probably getting nailed by YouTube for that. All right, what are they gonna tell me? Special access has been granted for Station's AI physical processing compartment and network technology module. Remember that the AI cognition medium is highly sensitive and must be carefully extracted per the specifications of your advanced AI materials handling certification. All right, let's get out of this. Let's fast forward it, actually. Let's see if anything happens when I fast forward it. No, she just likes to hang out there and listen to me. That's cool. That is totally cool. Let's go over here. Um, oh, we're entering another area, aren't we? Personnel quarters, network specialist office attention, subcontract fair, AI wet where I, ooh, that's kind of cool. They tell you where to go. What is the exit for? Oh, okay. Okay. So we have to go this way then, huh? Up and over. What do we got up here? Network specialist office. Let's look at Natalia Krenchko's office first. AI conditioning in progress. Hey there. Um, I'm Nat. Pleased to meet you. Hello. I am Odin. I look forward to working together. <laughs> Same here, mate. Is that it? Oh, I guess I can look at her thing, is what it is. All right, captured one year ago. Off station message with Chloe Dog. Uh, very austere. I mean, corporate modern chic. What do you expect? And how's your new best friend? What's its name again? Odin, his name. And I mean, he's fine so far for an AI. Kind of a cold fish, but I'm working on him. They're trying to get one up here on Tangiers, you know. It's all about the AI LF talks about. I believe it, that when I see it. Oh, no more fails. Quit with the fails. To all crew, welcome to Coma Crew. It's been a whirlwind couple of days of onboarding and loading out. I know most of us are still adjusting to life in orbit, but I just want to say how excited I am to be working with all of you and Odin. 
A little background on myself, I come from an aerospace manufacturing family. One of my sister's first jobs to factory back in Tacoma, the one on Earth in Cascadia FN. Ooh, that's us! Was helping build pieces of this very station we're floating, walking around in right now. I'm the first in my family to actually leave Earth and work in one of these facilities, and I've been blah. Really looking forward to getting to know all of you over the coming years, blah. Or need to pass anything along to Venturous Brass, just let me know. Here's to a successful posting. Message with Odin. Ha, sure, let's start there. I am an Obsidian Class AI branch and continuous operation for 180 fully capable of organic level independent thought and reasoning. Now continue with detailed technical specifications. Okay, mate, listen, haha, ha, what's your Caprice score for independence? 4.68. All right, we're going to work on getting that number up, you and me. Huh, that's interesting. And everything else is gone. I don't think there's anything else here to look at. It's not, it's not like um, gone home where I, I think I have to find things. It seems mostly laid out. You just have to rewind stuff. Oh, wait, what is this? Caprice. I guess it's just its AI scale. And that's where Odin started, and Odin's here? Is that where he is? He's doing pretty good overall, honestly. Pretty good. Let's get going now. That's obviously the wrong room to go into. Can, can, we, can we, what are we doing? Are we doing something? I don't know what we're doing sometimes. We only got a few minutes left. Oh, do it. Odin, is this it? That is the location I mentioned. You're there? Uh, you're gonna need a crowbar or something. No, it's, it's open. It's just hanging open. What? I must inform you that... ...contracting crew members direct access to AI hardware. But I cannot prevent you from proceeding. Matt, I'm going in. Okay, I'm um, just... Careful. Whoa. AI Secure Communication Center. Um. Okay. Let's do it. Let's recover this. Is this... What is all this? Communication records? I cannot prevent you from accessing exposed data in this restricted area. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, he's recording. <clears throat> it is with great sadness that I address you today, February 29th, 2088. Mere hours ago, six loyal men and women the crew of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma lost their lives serving Venturas and all of us who rely on the orbital economy. Tragically, due to human error on the part of the crew, Venturas rescue technicians were not made aware of the catastrophic oxygen loss until it was too late. Our heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with their families. If only tragedies like this were avoidable. But in truth, they are. As we know, each minute that human workers spend stationed, isolated in orbit is another opportunity for heroes like the crew of Tacoma to lose their lives. We at Venturas say no more. The partisan obstructionism that led to the failure of the Orbital Worker Safety Bill has claimed its last victim. Today, we hereby renew our solemn pledge to fight for the legalization of fully automated orbital facilities. We encourage, we humbly beg everyone listening to this message to contact their OSEP representative and voice their support in honor of the crew of Tacoma. There never need be another tragedy like this one. And now, a moment of silence in their memory. Okay, and then we just cut it there, silent for a minute, and then what, Amazing Grace? No, I don't need another take. That was fine. Oh my god, what a bastard. What a bastard. 
Offsets through message VA, VT AI handler count 717. New top tier AI directives transmitted overrides all prior existing directives. AI shall explosively decompress all oxygen tanks, disable all external communications channels accessible by crew, fabricate data showing that oxygen and comms outage were caused by meteor impacts, ensure crew enters cryogenic stasis ASAP per SOP. AI, sh AI shall not contravene any aspect of the above directives. Provide crew with any information contradicting the above scenario. These are your orders effective immediately. Off station message with the VT handler 717. Will this not endanger the live Tacoma's crew? No. A rescue craft will be dispatched to retrieve them once they're in cryo. Proceed with the above directives without exception. We'll be monitoring your actions via secure comms connection directly to Odin until cognitive center. Oh, evil corporations. All right, so. How do we want to do this? Um, let's see. Internal report for Tier 1 executive eyes only. Following the failure of the Ventura Spac Orbital Worker Safety Bill, there is no significant probability of the Human Oversight Accords being repealed. Without a repeal, Ventura's belt facilities cannot begin operation. To this end, I've simulated a number of theoretical world events and estimated their impact on successive OCEP Congress votes. Simulated world events included a precipitous decline of orbital market, an extended strike by Orbital Workers Union members, the assassination of OSEP members opposed to HOA, and more. None of these definitively motivated a repeal of the HOA in simulations. However, in the event that all crew of a major orbital facility were tragically lost due to an accident not caused by negligence, I calculate a 94% likelihood of the accord being repealed within three months following this incident. This would allow Ventura Belt facilities to begin operation immediately, Following this, I estimate a reversal of Ventura stock decline resulting in record stock price within one year of the Ventura Belt beginning operation. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, based on the low public profile of crew on board and projected financial impact of their loss, the best option currently in the Venturi fleet would be Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. I'd recommend renewing all crew members aboard for successive posting on Tacoma to allow time for logistical organization of this operation. Thank you, Juno. I'll be in touch. Oh, oh ho ho. Um, Tacoma Rescue Craft Launch scheduled T minus one hour, 26 minutes. Rescue Craft Launch canceled. Relaunch scheduled for relaunch unscheduled. The Rescue Craft departure has been intentionally canceled. Yes. Without a Rescue Craft, the crew expire from lack of oxygen or cryo sleep overexposure within 12 hours. Unfortunately, circumstances outside your concern make this unavoidable. AI may not reopen comms to contact orbital craft or facilities. AI may not provide crew with confidential information. These are direct orders. Do not contact us about the issue again. Oh. Oh, now I see. That's Odin talking to them. Odin's like, what the hell? All right. So, folks, we're going to leave it here. This is the end of the filming. Of course, the big corporation is evil. I hate them. I will see you next time, and until then, take care.